Hey guys, what's going on? Rune here, and I'm back again with, as as you can tell, another Knights and Dragons video. But if you can tell what area I'm in, then you've probably guessed that Heroic Mode is back out with the new Mono Fire Epic. My mouse is in the screen, and I'm sorry about that. I just realized that you won't see it in a um, in the editing because I'll have it set off. So I have no idea why I even brought it up. But I want to make a quick guide for you all on how to get the plus version of the heroic mode, I myself won't be going for it, but if you wish to, uh, you know, if you wish to get it, it is possible to get on only, you know, you're on free without using gems, that is, if you have no life and you decide to stay up all hours of the day and play for it, I know uh, one of my friends in our guild, he told us he got it all on free energy, free energy, this isn't a war, all free without using gems. But he's a farmer, and he only gets maybe three hours a day on sl of sleep, so he's used to not sleeping, like, at all. Which I'm not. I personally am a normal human being, and enjoy my sleep, so I won't be doing that. This, uh, this method will be using gems. Oh, sweet, look, another shard. I mean, I might maybe get the, uh, the plus version for it. I don't know, it just came out. I haven't spent any gems or whatever. I've gotten a uh, the first shard. The the drops have been very very friendly to me. But other than that, I mean, I've just been getting them like every other person. Just normal. Uh, do I have any earth armor? I'm gonna put cryptid on this guy here. This isn't really part of the tip to the video. This is just me um, doing whatever. I'm just trying to get my guys down low health so I can show you how to do it. I know a lot of you are probably thinking, well he's just gonna reheal his knights and spend the three gems on it and that's how he's gonna do it. No. That's actually not how I'm gonna do it. What you wanna do I'll explain it as I'm killing these guys so I have something to talk about. What you wanna do is you wanna have you know just use your knights as much as possible. Figure out what three knights you need or if you just use two, then two, but I suggest you always have three in the lineup, especially when you die, because you're, you want to die, but you want to make sure you die in the stage with your three knights up, and spend the five gems it costs to reheal all three of your knights instead of you healing each individual one for three gems each. Because if you do that, to heal three knights, it's going to cost you nine gems, whereas if you die in the game, to resurrect three knights, it only costs five. So you're pretty much doing this at half the price. Now, it's <clears throat> excuse me, I'm sorry about that. I find this method a lot easier to do, or because I mean it's not as time consuming. Your knights need roughly I, th I don't know how much it is. I think it's like 25 HP to be able to get back into. Um, into a, uh, a battle, so you can do that. You get to you get to have time off, you know, once all your nights are dead. Just lock your phone, your tablet, whatever, go do something in real life. I'm, I'm sure everyone here has a life and they have something to do other than just play candy all day long. So, do that, and then wait maybe 20 minutes, I think it takes. You come back on, and you... Oh, sweet, another shard, wow, getting those puppies left and right. And then you just you come back on you heal a knight. See this guy's got two HP, not enough. Four HP, not enough. So I'm just gonna fight my guys out. I'm gonna wait for them to be uh, able to get back into combat, and then I'll be back with the rest of the video. Okay, so I've finished all my battling, and my knights now have enough health to come back into the game. So I'm gonna bring Aqua. I'm gonna throw I'm just gonna throw some armor on them real quick. Throw some HP armor on there. Doesn't actually bump up his health much, but that doesn't matter. I'll bring in my wind guy, and I'll throw cryptid on you. Again, this is throw some quick, quick bling on them, and then me. Now you always want to have your your main knight on there because you are the strongest person in your team. Uh, I'm not. Doesn't matter about that because they're not going to get through the first two. 
Anyway, you just want to start off. Now, I'll put a, uh, I have a guide on how to get free gems in Knights and Dragons and how to get a lot of them. If you notice on the top left of your screen, you'll probably see the video coming into focus right now. You can click on that, and it'll take you to it. I might have mentioned it in the beginning. I, if I didn't mention it in the beginning, then I'll put an annotation on there where you would have seen, and you'll be able to click on it then. But, again, this method will require you to have gems, but that's the only reason why I'm advertising my other video in there, because it tells you on how to get a lot of gems, and you're going to need them. It's as simple as that. You're not going to be able to get the plus version in seven days on, you know, just for free, unless you have no life and only sleep three hours a day. Once this defeated screen pops up, it only costs five gems to restore it. So just restore. All three of your knights are now full health, and that carries over. So once you're finished fighting, oh, danger, epic boss, whatever. Once you're finished fighting this battle, and you exit out, you can come back in with these knights and they're going to keep their health. It's a lot cheaper than self-healing them with three gems each. I just find this way way more efficient and cheaper. It is literally half the price. Now if you notice my gem count there, it said 412. Um, I, I told you guys I was going to do a chess video. I'm going to wait because I, um, I follow Knights and Dragons on the Facebook page and uh, I'm in a couple of chats online and so far there's been a total of three Dragonborn armor, Dragonforged, sorry, armors that have been leaked and I guarantee you one of them is going to be a chestable one. Oops, I want to kill him with a power attack. So my theory is that one is going to be a war, which already passed. The second is going to be a raid one, ugh, no shard, which should be this weekend, should be a raid. And the third is going to be a chess one. Not sure when the chess one is going to pop out, but it's going to come out soon. And if it does, then I'm going to spend the gems on that chest and make a video of it. But yeah, as you can see, um, they're they're still healed and etc. And you want to... It's hard to explain this. You want to try to do that when you're close to a level there. Because then you only spend about five gems. But of course, if you don't have strong epics in the first place, you won't be able to time that well. And as the further you get on, the harder the the stages get, and etc., etc. But it, it just takes strategy. You got to think about it, and you got to play smart. But that's my guide on how to get the plus version of the heroic armor, which is that right here. In case you haven't haven't seen it, crystal dragon mail. It's a pretty nice armor. It's got, to be honest, it's got some pretty crap stats for a plus version, but it is a mono, and with the the Dragon Forge armor that came out, whatever, epics are pretty much the new legendary, but I'm not going to get into all that. That's a different video for a different time. Well, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you next time.